Welcome back, VST here at FC Tech. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you're able to change the CC using a free tool called SAM FW2, right? SAM for a tool. This will really enable you, or in this case, me, to change my CXE. I get right now the EUX one. So, why should I do this? Well, there might be several reasons, but one of them is really trying to get native call recording. There are some options to still get call recording with some third party applications, but you always know like native is native. I'm working on thin ice here guys, as I didn't really back up any of my photos because this process should not require any factory erasing, factory resetting, you know, wiping cache partitions. So this means that I should be able to change my CSC without losing any of my data. And yeah, we're just gonna see how that works. But first things first, we need to prep something. So probably some important steps. We need to go guys down below into developers options and make sure to enable the USB debugging. Once that's done guys, that's step number one. Step number two is we need to apparently also remove our SIM card. So the phone should be without a SIM card. All right, SIM card is out. We can now start the process by connecting the phone to my PC. So I'm just going to connect it. All right, make sure that you have all the drivers. Now, how do we know if that works, guys? Yeah, we should get access to your phone already. And now, guys, I'm going to jump to my screen recording and show you what else has to be done. Before we start with the process, guys, I want to show you my current CSC. This is the EUX. I plan to change this to the SEK, which is the Ukrainian CSC, which will really get me native call recording, or at least I hope so. Now let's connect the phone back to the PC and start. Now the phone is connected to my PC and this is the tool we're gonna use. Directly search for a link. There is a download link down there from Android file host. Download has been completed, so I need to extract the tool here on my PC. Phone still connected, guys. Now I will need to install the SAM firmware tool, guys, and then we need to start it with admin rights. I'm gonna show you how this works. Let's first install the tool on our PC. The installation has been completed, so you can go now on your C drive and open the SAM FW tool. Now, click with the right mouse button, guys, and run as an administrator. This is required. Remember, your phone should be also connected to your PC. Now, some checks are to be done. You need to make sure that everything is up and running. You have all the latest drivers. The installation has been completed, and we are now inside the SAM WF tool folder created on the C drive. Click with the right mouse button, guys, and select run as an administrator. All right, first thing we need to make sure is that the tool is able to connect to our phone. So here the phone, guys, I am connecting it now to the cable, okay, to my PC. And how can we be sure? So you should see something here on the Sam WF tool, which will tell you Samsung Mobile USB modem, which means that we have a connection to the tool. Now, go to the ADB tab, guys. You can already see the change CC, but don't rush for now. There is one very important step. We need to open the dialer and put the phone in a test mode. So how do we do this, guys? Here on the dialer, type star hashtag zero, star hashtag. And now the phone is going to enter the so-called test mode. Now we can click the CSC and we can already see that the tool is trying to communicate with our phone. Very important step. As this appears, you need to allow the connection to happen. Okay. So now the communication starts and now guys, you get this menu, change CSC, phone supported CSC guys, and you can just see all the CSCs that you can apparently use on this phone. In my case, right now I'm using the EUX and I want to get the SEK, which is one for Ukraine, which will eventually give me native call recording. Now that's done guys, press change, okay? And now you can just see, now the tool is performing the magic. And if everything works correctly guys, I should get an updated CSC, changing my EUX CSC to the SEK CSC, which eventually will get me the native call recording. And also, what is very, very important for me, in this process, I should not get any problems with data losing, like deletion of my cache partition, deletion of my data. So right now, guys, the tool already completed the job. It says, congratulations, everything is done. Do you want to send us some coffee? And yeah, now my phone has been rebooted. I'm going to disconnect it, guys. And I need now to insert my SIM card back. And let's hope, let's hope first that my data is still there. 
And then let's hope that when I put my SIM card back, I'm really going to get the CSE change from the EUX to the SEK. And of course, if I have native call recording, I'm going to test it together with you in this video. Okay, now my phone has been rebooted. So let me just now put my SIM card back. My phone has the very same wallpaper, which is a really good indication. And oh yes, everything is there, guys. Everything is really there. Now the most important check, guys, I am back in the software information. I'm gonna scroll down and wow, the CC really has been changed from EUX to SEK. And of course I need to test this, guys. So let me just try to call the operator and see if I'm gonna get the call recording. But also even without this, guys, right now if I go to the settings, I should see record calls menu. Wow. Show notification after recording, recorded calls. This is really insane. So this really should work, but of course I need to test it. Okay, let me try to record the calls, guys. All right, very important part, can record Wi-Fi calls. Now, if you get this, guys, it is only because I'm using Wi-Fi calling. So apparently you're not able to record Wi-Fi calling even with the Samsung native call recorder. Now I've disabled this and I'm gonna try one more time. Recording will start after call connected, test so we can just see. Wow, this works beautifully. One, two, three. All right, let me just put a speaker on. One, two, three, one, two, three, okay. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, test. Okay, there is already something, guys. I'm going to now close this call. And yep, just to be sure that I'm able to access it, I'm gonna go back to the settings. I'm gonna go to the record calls and I'm gonna click recorded calls. And in fact, there it is. So let me just try to play it back. All right, let use the Samsung Music for this, okay? Calling will start after call connected. Test, so we can just wow. see. Wow, wow. this works recording. beautifully. For English press one, two, three. Quality is insane. Right. Just put a speaker on. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Here test. it is, guys. One, two, three. Test. Okay, here you go. Yep. And of course, from here, guys, you are able to delete it and organize really the way you want things. Now, absolutely flawless. I'm really blown away. Really respect to Tung Data for creating these tools, guys. You can also delete your old recordings. You can auto record calls. There are plenty of options. And um, yeah, I hope this video will help you to get the native call recording. And if you like videos like this, yeah, you might as well want to check my other videos. I do a lot of content on Samsung, not only iPhones as well. Yeah, so. Stay safe guys, VST over and bye.